What is popping people and welcome back to the Oxford United career mode on FIFA 22 and in this episode today we are going to finish the championship season. We are currently mid-table, 37 games played and 51 points in the bag. I'm going to quickly jump over to the calendar and show you what games we can expect from this episode. So I'm going to quickly show you what games we've got left. We have Reading, Luton and Stoke in this month of March. Then in April, Sheffield Wednesday, Millwall, QPR and Cardiff. We then have Coventry and Bristol City in the final month of the season. A few of these games are going to play and a few of these games I'm going to sim. And uh, we'll see what points we can get out, get out of these games and see roughly where we finish. Um, but hopefully we can finish above 10th, uh, but I think a playoff position is probably out of the question. First game we have Reading, they're currently sitting 19th and we are going to play this game and I'm going to show you the goals and the highlights from this. Let's see how we get on away from home, so it's a tough one. Let's see how we get on against 19th place Reading. So 53 minutes deep and there wasn't too much really to tell you about. Both teams have had chances but uh, nothing really round breaking. Reading had the ball but it was snatched back by Koiki who made a run down the right hand side. It was floated over the top to find Brown who was playing at striker and he sticks it home to give us the 1-0 lead against Reading away from home. And maybe the swap of putting Brown back on the field and playing him in a more attacking position was quite beneficial um, as he's got the pace, he's got the skill and by the look of things, also can finish a ball when called upon. It's a brilliant ball there from Koike out wide to find him. Well brought down, got in front of his man and finished it home. The 1-0 advantage, if we can hold on to this, that'll be three points in the bag, which we desperately need. Not too much else happened though as the game ended up finishing. We picked up the 1-0 victory which is definitely what we needed. They are 19th place um, so I'd expect a victory against uh, against Reading. But uh, we, it wasn't a bad performance overall. We had a few chances, had a few chances but thankfully for us Marcus Brown stepped up and stuck the ball in at the back of the net giving us the 1-0 victory and hopefully that will lift us off this 10th place position and uh, march us closer up to the top of the table. Next we jump on to Luton Town who are ninth, uh, not too many places behind us, just the one. Um, it's going to be a quick sim match, hopefully we can pick up a result in this quick sim game. We are at home and as it is we ended up drawing 2-2. Next team in our way is Stoke City, once again away from home. It's going to be another quick sim match for ourselves and we ended up losing 2-1 in this one unfortunately against Stoke City. So another game we are expecting to win and that is against Sheffield Wednesday. They're 23rd in the table at the moment and if we can pick up the win today we could jump into 8th position. Fifty-four minutes on the clock, we have the ball. It's Chiwameke. It looks to drive forward. Nice little pass out wide to find M. Mai. M. Mai now finds a ball through to Hall. The main man up front. Nice little cut inside, and the keeper stands absolutely no chance of saving that one. As we take the lead, and it's Hall again. He's had a good season for us. Not as prolific as he was last season before his injury, uh, but he's in a harder league, and he will be leaving us as well, which is a shame. But. Uh, but once again, he is on fire, performing for us, and uh, hopefully this will be enough for us to get the victory in this one against Sheffield Wednesday. Like I said, they are near the bottom of the table, so I expect to be beating these kind of teams, but it always helps when you've got a striker like him doing it for you. 70 minutes deep there now, and we have a free kick. It's with Hall again. Little pass, McGuane finds Seddon, turn and strike on his left foot, and he makes it 2-0. And hopefully if we can just stay switched on, they have a red card as well. If we can just stay switched on, then this should be another victory for us. Another three points in the bag as we look to march up that table and uh, potentially have a higher finish than 10th place. I would like to finish just outside the playoffs, um, which would be nice at least. And we've uh, we've kind of overachieved for our first season in the championship. Said not scoring too many goals, but this one, it's a well-taken strike. He gets it on his left foot and just belts it into the roof of the net. 
That was all she wrote though for this fixture. We end up picking the 2-0 victory up, which is very, very nice. Um, like I said though, before the start of the game, it's a game we're expecting to win, especially at home. Um, we want to put on a performance for the fans, and I think we did so today. A great overall performance from the lads, and uh, some well, an unlikely goal scoring said, and a well taken free kick was enough to see off Sheffield Wednesday and hopefully push us a little bit further up the table. Big game for us now then is Millwall. We aren't that far out of the playoff places. We're currently five points behind Millwall. And uh, if we can pick up a win today, we definitely close that gap on them and could potentially sneak into the playoffs. It's a pipe dream. I'm going to quick sim it. It's always risky, but it is a pipe dream. And we end up winning 2-1. Can you believe it? We are, uh, we've definitely cut the deficit now and we could make a run for those playoff positions. So as you can see, we are currently two points away from Millwall. And it's all to play for. We've got QPR, who are 12. Let's see how we get on in this one. Thank you, Road. Enjoy the game. All I'm going to say is I hope you like montages because I've stuck together the first half goals of QPR as they took the lead. Uh, only by four, they were beating us 4-0 at half time and uh, these are the goals that they had on display so the first one came, I think it was from Dykes from outside the box, roof of the net then a few minutes later they found another goal at the near post potentially Steven should be doing better but our defence was just on toast for the entirety of the first 45 minutes as we found ourselves 2-0 down they then made it 3, um, bit of passing, splits open again 1-1 one -on -one, and he just buries it home not looking very good in it i'll be honest with you in this game i'd kind of given up like i don't know what the keeper was doing there his body went all weird and then they finally wrapped it up on the uh sort of the 40 minute mark with this one and uh, yeah it was all looking really good as the game ended up finishing 4-0 to them we managed to hold on second half and actually not concede we had a few chances but didn't stick them away and a uh, 4-0 loss to qpr is definitely not what we needed uh seeing as we were trying to push for a uh, for, for, for the playoffs, we, we were in touching distance, but it might be out of the question now. A quick update on the league table, as you can currently see, Millwall have 64 points, um, who are the only team really we can catch. As you can see, we have 61, so we're three points away from them. And uh, so are a lot of teams in that area, Bristol City, Luton, Stoke, Middlesbrough. We're all fighting for that one position, which is sixth place. Whoever gets that is obviously going to be in the playoffs. It's it's kind of all to play for. There's more to play than I thought. We've got Cardiff City left, we've got Coventry left, and we've got Bristol City left. So we've got some massive, massive games left to play. And two of those are, I think Cardiff are doing pretty well. I think Coventry are doing pretty well. And I know that Bristol City are, I think, in the same boat as us, fighting for that position. I do apologise, Cardiff are not in a playoff position. They're currently sitting 17th. We are at home. We've got them. If we can pick up a win, we could potentially close the gap on uh, on sixth place. It took until the 80th minute for us to have a chance. And once again, it's that magic man, Mr. Hall, popping up with the goods. Um, this was a frustrating game. Their keeper had a very decent game for them. Uh, they had a few chances, as always, but it was a beautiful pass there, which found Hall, and the keeper couldn't really do too much to keep it out the back of the net. And that was the story at the minute. We were having quite a few frustrating games. Uh, this was one of them, but thankfully we found the back of the net. The drama wasn't over though, we had the ball with Chua Maker, Chua Maker found Iendika who looked to march forward, it was a rash tackle but he won the ball, it's going to be a Branagan now, who's going to find a ball to Hall, he found Chua Maker, little ball through to find Iendika who absolutely rifles the back of the net giving us the 2-0 advantage against Cardiff and hopefully this is going to be enough to see us through, what a through ball that is from Chua Maker to find him and uh, hopefully this has just cemented our position um, above the uh, the other contestants for that sixth place position. That was all she wrote though as we ended up picking up the 2-0 victory as you probably imagine great performance towards the end. The last 10 minutes is definitely where we came into our own. As you can see a goal from Hall on the 82nd minute and a goal from Iendicat on the 89th minute was enough to seal the victory for us today.
another crucial game for us and this one comes in the form of Coventry away from home. Once again, one of the most frustrating games of football I have played. 85 minutes deep and we absolutely dominated this game. We had about at least five one-on-ones, which the keeper somehow saved. He was unreal. Their goalkeeper, honestly, was amazing. Um, as you can see, Adair, I think, started up front. But finally, we put Hall up there and I got as close as I could and hit this as hard as I could. And thankfully, when in the back of the net, 88 minutes, and we pick up, we pick up the goal against Coventry. It was well deserved, let me tell you. I was swearing my head off during this game because we just couldn't stick the ball past this goalkeeper. Thankfully, that ball to Hall, though, found its way to him and, it, yeah, he rifled it. He rifled it home to give us the 1-0 advantage in this one. Thankfully, it was enough as well to give us all three points. He only really had two attempts, and that was when I moved him to the striker position, which was about 80-odd minutes or 70-odd minutes. Um, I moved him, and uh, that's why you get paid to be a manager making those kind of decisions and uh, you can see what time it came this was a crucial goal and against a keeper who probably deserved to keep a clean sheet back to looking at the league table we are inches away final game of the season 67 points 67 points we need to win this and we need Millwall to lose we can draw as long as they lose they've got Birmingham we have Bristol City it's all to play for it's uh, it's quite exciting to be fair with yeah, you. I didn't think we'd get this kind of excitement towards the end of the season, especially when we were set dead on to become mid-table. Uh, we've had a decent run towards the end of the season. And uh, yeah, there's quite a big gap between 5th and 6th, which has given us this opportunity. Unfortunately, no matter how hard I tried, we just couldn't find the back of the net. Their keeper made some great saves, as well as our keeper as well, which we are going to see at the death here. Uh, ref playing on, just wanted Bristol City to score so bad. He was waiting until they had this final shot, and thankfully, Stevens was there to make the save. But we didn't get a win. We didn't. Uh, we didn't end up beating them, which is obviously a massive shame. We could have really done with it. The ref still obviously clicking. <laughs> Still clicking his time down, waiting for them to score. We just need to get rid of this ball and see where we finish. Obviously, I can't imagine Mill, uh, Millwall losing to Birmingham City, which is a shame. Can someone please tell me as well why the ref finds the need to play an extra sort of four minutes of extra time? Just don't get that. The fans are cheering, but this is where I got slightly confused because I saw the fans cheering and thought, oh, we've made the playoffs, we're, we're, in, we're in the playoffs. And then you look at the fans, and I think it's Chilmaker now who's got his hands on his head. Like they're, they're actually naturally annoyed. So I wasn't sure what what had happened at this point, whether they were frustrated because the fans are celebrating, the fans are going wild, but the players are like distraught. So I wasn't sure what went on. But can you believe it? We made the playoffs. We actually, from a position where I thought there was nothing to play for, we're now in the playoffs with Southampton, Coventry City and Brentford. This is, Honestly, it's amazing to think that we've made it to this stage, um, seeing as how poor I think of the season we've had. Um, we've managed to scrape our way in there, which is just beyond beyond thought. Um, so I'm going to wrap the video up here. It's quite, it's quite a short one because I've done a lot of editing and cutting down the games and stuff. And I'm a bit rusty when it comes to dubbing over the footage, um, as you can probably tell, not as over the top as maybe the last uh, FIFA 21 was, um, just from not doing it in a while. Uh, but if you enjoyed this episode, as always, please like, comment and subscribe. We do have one more episode of this season, um, which we will be playing in the playoff finals, which is exciting. And if you're enjoying it, please like, comment, subscribe, do what you always do, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a great day and goodbye.